Pounding a copper nugget with a heavy stone isn't a typical task for Northwestern University researcher Alix Damier Black, but her elbow grease and expertise in the area of material science and metals is allowing us a glimpse back in time into the world of Native American coppersmiths called the Mississippians, who lived in the Cahokia Mounds of southeastern Illinois more than 600 years ago. By buying nuggets or, or taking pure nuggets and trying to imitate what we thought the Native American culture was doing, we were able to compare our work to the actual ancient work and say, well, realistically, this is what the Mississippians were doing. Damien Black and Professor David Dunand are among a team of Northwestern researchers who analyze discarded pieces of copper from the ground floor of the recently excavated Copper Workshop House in Cahokia. With high-powered microscopes, they analyzed the grain structures of the prehistoric copper and determined how the metal was likely worked by the Cahokians. You look at the structure, and you say, okay, what happened to the metal? The metal has, in a sense, has a memory of how it was processed. And so we can deduce from what we see a number of things. To replicate what they saw under the microscope, they used store-bought copper nuggets, a heavy stone, and a furnace set to the temperature of the coals of a wood-burning fire and hammered and annealed the copper into workable thin sheets. If I had to create an object like this, I would, I would do the same. I would you know, thin it, hammer it, and I would put it in a furnace. It's the same technology. They didn't have you know, the, the, the scientific understanding of why, but they definitely have the know-how. Cahokians were part of a sophisticated civilization that Northwestern University anthropology professor Jim Brown has been studying for more than a decade. He says the coppersmiths of Cahokia were important craftsmen. Uh, copper was basically a very sacred mineral and it was used to fabricate what you might call jewelry, or what they, what Native Americans would call regalia. This scientific analysis of the copper, which was published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, also sheds light on how the copper sheets were pieced together and cut, important information for anthropologists, scientists, and history lovers alike. Confirmation and enlarging by detail, and you know, that's a scientific Part of the scientific process is giving some of the real details so that an observer can imagine how it was done and so hook onto that other kinds of observations. Details and observations about the Cahokian people from the fragments of their way of life found under the great mounds they left behind.